should probably listen to this. That's the pass. We stood together, middle fingers held high. A Silicon Valley attacked our price, demanded our complacency, and violated our freedoms. We caught Bloom making backroom deals with each of the biggest tech giants. Companies already specialized to track and manipulate every aspect of our lives. Bloom thought they'd use us as a boogeyman to drive these companies to their CTO left. All that data was to be protected and controlled by one master program. But we didn't play fair. We shut down their CTOS for days. We exposed them one at a time, took their credibility, and prevented an unprecedented state of public control. Together, DeadSec gave the untouchable Big Brother its first black eye. Bloom's man behind the megaphone, Sean Nimick, will spend the rest of his days in prison, thanks to our efforts. He was an opportunist, using his connections to exploit Bloom's system. They will scapegoat him, paint him as a rogue elephant, claim it was a singular random incident. But we won't let him off the hook so easily. We have demonstrated their weaknesses, both human and technological. With great power comes great vulnerability. Bloom and their sycophants now face an onslaught of legal action and government investigation. Faith in the CTOS is at an all-time low. We did this. We know the greed engine will never rest. And to that, we promise, neither will dead set. We outnumber them. With every indiscretion, Every scandal and every scam, they add to our numbers, and we will be watching. DeadSec has given our warning. Do what you will. How much of this is hyperbole? Has it really gone global? There are new DeadSec cells popping up everywhere. The Middle East, South America, Europe. And not just them, we can't even keep up with all the new hacktivist groups. All right. Make the call. You sure? Do it.